Located in the eastern part of Kenya in the counties of Isiolo and Lake Kipia is Mukogoda Forest, an indigenous national forest reserve measuring approximately 30,000 hectares. <coughs> Being in an area classified as arid and semi-arid lands, Mukogoda is among the forests that are most vulnerable to climate change in Kenya. Mukogodo is also one of the last remaining dry forests managed by communities living around it under the Kenya Forest and Management Act of 2016. One unique uh, aspect about Mukogodo forest, even though it is a gazetted forest, the government has allowed uh, the local communities, the indigenous communities, to utilize and conserve the forest. There are four main communities surrounding Mukogodo forest who coexist in harmony. The Ilngwesi, Makurian, Kurkuri and Lerkuk. The four came together to form the Ilmamosi Community Forest Association, CFE, and they depend on the forest for pasture, honey, herbal medicine, and firewood, among other benefits. The community are majorly pastoralists in nature. So the forest provides pasture for the livestock. It also provides watering points for the livestock during that spell when it gets really dry. But this is being threatened by deforestation and land degradation caused by population pressure, overgrazing, charcoal burning, and other intensive uses of its resources by the communities. Nicholas Kode is a 56-year-old beekeeper in Mukogodo Forest. The father of eight and a resident of Arjiju village in Makurian community shares his frustrations and the challenges that have been facing the forest in recent years. There is a lot of encroachment in the forest. There is underground growth which used to have a lot of honey, but we don't have them now. It is for this reason that FAO Kenya, with funding from the Global Environment Facility, GEF6, started implementing a restoration initiative in Mukogodo Forest through bio-enterprise development and other incentives. The project has got some low-lying fruits in terms of bio-enterprises in these areas that we are trying to develop that can incentivize uh, the local communities to continue with the uh, restoration in a more sustainable manner. Efforts to restore the forest began in earnest in the year 2019 with the mobilization of the Ilmamusi Community Forest Association, CFE. The next task was to improve the institution's capacity through training and exchange visits. The first year of uh, the FAO funding uh, focused on uh, strengthening the governance of Ilmamusi CFA, review of their constitution, and uh, training of the newly elected uh, management committee. The next significant step in the forest restoration by the Ilmamusi group was the formation of six user groups in each conservancy to manage specific elements of the forest future. First, a forest user group deals with honey harvesting. The second one deals with uh, fuel wood collection. We have a third one that handles ecotourism. Uh, additionally, there is grazing and water as part of the uses that uh, the community derive from the forest. Each user group is currently represented in the management committee. We have a representation of women, the elders and the youth. <laughs> These significant and deliberate decisions by strategic partners and the Ilma Musi Community Forest Association have borne significant fruits. A draft policy on forest and landscape restoration and the benefit sharing forest regulation have been developed and shared. So far we have been able to establish uh, six nurseries. We have been able also to train the various stakeholders who are working around Kogodo, uh, from the county government to NGOs to the communities and also even train the conservancies which are surrounding the forest. With the support of key local partners, Kenya Forestry Research Institute, the National Museum of Kenya, the Lake Kipia Wildlife Forum, the Northern Rangelands Trust and the Kenya Forest Service, FAO aims to reduce the overall proportion of degraded land by at least 20%. The restoration approaches cannot be achieved by one organization. We really need to work as partners all the way from the users to the service providers, work closely with the county government 
because uh, in some of this uh, trust land, the county government will play a very key uh, role. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought with it challenges, including the postponement of key activities that require physical meetings and travel. Biashara yetu imeteremka chini sana kwa sababu huwa tunategemea sana wageni ndio huwa wanatusaidia wananunua vitu zetu lakini sasa imeteremka sana sana kwa sababu ya hiyo janga ya corona. Indeed, with the forest survival, so will the community's livelihoods, well-being, food, water, energy, security and resilience be restored.